Right, so good morning. I am here today with the wonderful Sue Kerr. Hi, Sue. Hi there. Right, guys, so um, Sue's going to share with you some wonderful insights in the things that she's doing, um, things that she's using in her life that's made some big impacts for you. So rather than me trying to tell you all this stuff, I think, I think the, well, probably the best way to do it is just to hand it over to you and okay. tell us a little bit about yourself. All righty, well, no pressure then. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. Um, all right, so... Um, 50-something, a very young 50-something, mother of very three, <laughs> um, who latterly, uh, for, for a large part of my adult life in actual fact, struggled for quite a long time with serious uh, mental health issues, um, largely based around chronic self-esteem, poor self-image and that type of thing. Um, it culminated about four years ago with a pretty disastrous decline um, via, via my uh, drug of choice, which was alcohol. Um, and, and I very nearly didn't survive. Uh, I subsequently found out that I was about 24 hours away from croaking, which is not something you like to hear when you're lying in bed in hospital. And I didn't know what or how my life would change at that point. I really genuinely didn't. But in the split second that I, told, I was told that I probably wouldn't be going home, um, I actually knew what Oprah would call a light bulb moment that um, something was going to change and for the better. I didn't know what and I didn't know how but I knew it would. Um, obviously I'm here and, and I did survive and uh, my life as it stands at the minute has never been happier. Um, I'm more healthy both physically and mentally than I've ever been in my life and certainly more whole and um, I now live my life in the way that I always wanted to previously which was by having the which is rather by having the courage to be who I really am pretty much with me these days what you see is what you get I no longer hide behind a wall a very strongly crafted facade that I kept people at arms bay for far too long thinking I could do things on my own this journey through life can be lonely but it doesn't have to be and I learned that almost when it was too late and I've spent the last four years making up for it essentially and um, I mean that ins that's inspiration right there isn't it and so it's four years ago you say yep 26th of September 2012 um, I was admitted as an emergency case into hospital um, with advanced liver failure kidneys had gone blood pressure was shutting down it was pretty grim um, I, I was told that I was a very sick young woman I use humor a lot in my life always have done uh, and I laughed at the consultant and said well I'll take the young and he just said, nah, I'm not joking. I would like to think you're going out of here on your own two feet. I actually don't think you'd be going home. <laughs> Hence the light bulb moment. Um, so 26th of September 2012 was the last time I had a drink. Um, alcoholic, obviously. Um, I haven't touched a drop since then, nor do I intend to. Um, largely because I realised that life isn't a rehearsal. I was very, very fortunate and I actually did get a second chance. Um, so I hit the ground running, um, not physically because these legs won't do that, but <laughs> I hit the ground running and, and, and made strides to change. In the four years since, I've lost six and a half stone in weight. I'm not sure of you people who will see this on YouTube what that equates to in pounds, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I am a different person physically, I'm certainly a different person mentally. Um, and, and the way that I live my life now is empowering others, uh, hopefully, uh, and it is working, I guarantee, to, to have the courage to be who they really are, which is something that I spent a large part of my life not doing. Not doing, yeah. And it's, and it's such a waste. And I think that's the thing that's like so inspiring with your story is there's so many people, and you'll be aware of this, like mm. in these sectors that we operate, you know, in like the, the, the life coaching and the coaching as a whole, sure. there's a lot of people out there that what's doing this stuff, but they've got Absolutely. no... And I, when I say they've got no credibility, I don't mean in terms of qualifications, but they've not built anything, have they, or done anything. No. Whereas, like for yourself, certainly you've got, yeah. you've got something that's really, really inspiring there that yeah. you can share with other people. Whereas a lot of people they jump into it and they haven't got that, have they? They might have studied it and they might have got the the letters and qualifications, sure. but but you've got the time served, haven't the, you? Absolutely. There's 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 there, there's very little. Uh, better alternative than, than life experience uh, and, and that sounds a conundrum in my case because I would not wish the journey that I had up to the point that I woke up and smelt the coffee as opposed to the Chardonnay yeah. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that journey on my worst enemy I really really wouldn't and, and the, way I, the way I spend my days now is, is 
making people who are in a similar situation to me for whatever reason because there are many different reasons yeah, yeah. Um, that, that why we why people struggle with mental ill health um, I was I was um, the last person in Sheffield for sure to realize that that I had an issue um, and it nearly cost me seeing my kids and my grandkids grow up and that's something that I'm mindful that I never ever forget yeah, on sure. a daily basis so yeah life life experience counts for a lot um, and certainly it helps me in, in the way that when I speak to people, I can relate to them. And, and, and my areas of expertise, if you like, are, are obviously mental health and addiction. Um, but it's also these days motivation and empowerment and, and educational empowerment as yeah, well, yeah, which, is, which is important. I spent which a is lot, lacking as well, isn't yeah, it? it really I, I, is. I, spent, I spent sort of the larger part of, of the last 15 years working with young people and young adults with mental Ill health issues. Who, who were too afraid to, to take ownership of what was going off in their lives, sure. largely because of what other people think. Uh, and I, I very firmly now advise people, you know what, the opinions of others are nice, especially if they're favourable. Yeah, yeah. But bottom line is, they're absolutely none of our business. Yeah. What other people think of you or me or, or anybody else is, is says more about, always, always, always says more about them. Absolutely. Without fail. Yeah. Um, and, and what do they say? Sheep, uh, lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. Absolutely, absolutely, and 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 having the courage and courage is courage is is a cliche word and it's something that gets overused I think at times, but I I know for a fact with the people that I've been working with to date that that you know having that courage within you within yourself to make the choice to choose to change yeah. is one of the biggest, biggest steps that anybody will ever take. Um, uh, and it's something that now I, I like to think that, that I, and I, people tell me I do, that I live my life now with purpose and passion, Brilliant. bordering on a new obsession. <laughs> I'll, st I'll stop short of saying addiction, but it could well become one. But to me, that's a positive thing. Uh, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, we can, all, we can all reach, all of us, every single person on this planet has a full potential to reach. It's not always you know, possible that somebody will be a brain surgeon or a, or a barrister or something like that. But I, I, I really don't mind what people are or who they are. Uh, they can be the best version of themselves that they can be. Definitely. And, and Definitely. When, when we come to understand that little chestnut, we take us, it's a big step forward because when we believe in ourselves... The world changes. The world changes and, and, and other people's opinions change yeah. of us. Also, I find. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I totally agree. That's that's different. So, just coming back to the the kind of light bulb moment, if you like, mm. you know, you, the, the hospital, the, the emergency yeah. side of stuff. Um, and I remember you telling me this, but it was, it was something that happened in that moment when you was in the hospital. Sure. That, um, that really made you think, weren't it? I, I, the, the, we all have um, moments of polarization, focus. Most people, those of us that were alive when the first man landed on the moon, or when JFK was killed guilty your honor uh th then we remember where we were at that time sure. when princess diana died to make it more current 9 11 things like that you remember and and the doc as the doctor the consultant said to my husband was with me and as the consultant said to me that basically i wasn't going home um and i, I subsequently found actually that if i'd not turned the corner when i did i was about 24 hours away from not being here, not being here. so which is a frightening feeling in itself but the split second that he shared with us that that I actually probably was was going to die uh, I instantly said to my husband we don't tell the kids we got our heads around this we don't tell the kids and at that moment in time my daughter walked through the door saw her saw us crying and we had no option but to tell her and the look on her face when we told her what what, what was going to happen I will never ever ever forget and yeah. I thought to myself at that moment in time you selfish mare how could you put your children let alone your husband and those that are close and dear to you through that I now know that when you're gripped in, in addiction it, addiction in and of itself is very very selfish it's a selfish place to sure. be because you can't think of anything but your next fix whatever yeah. your next fix is it could be shopping yeah. it could be gambling it could be sex it could, it could be anything whatever, is, yeah. whatever your next fix is is the most important thing to you at that time and when I saw my daughter's face having told her that she was going to lose her mother and don't get me wrong we fight like cat and dog oh my <laughs> days but I wouldn't change that for the world yeah, yeah. I knew then that the time for being selfish had, got had to stop, to stop yeah. had to stop so how did you take that 
and use it as a motivation then. So what was... Um, well, well, pretty much somebody telling you you're going to die, for me, is the biggest motivation <laughs> <laughs> you're ever going to get. Totally. Um, and, 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 I, and I guess anybody who's been in a situation, regardless of the situation, where they, they have been told that they're terminal and then survive, or, or survive for longer than expected, you, I literally, there is not one single day, John, that I don't wake up now and... And, and again, it sounds twee, but it's perfectly true. You know, it's just like, thank you very much. You know, I don't care what happens that day. Don't get me wrong, I do care. That's a that's a yeah. contradicting terms. I obviously care about what happens in my day. But when I wake up in the morning, I've got my eyes. By definition, that means I'm alive. Yeah. And anything else that happens, good, bad or indifferent, is a bonus. Is a bonus. And trust me, I'm only human. I have really, really... Bad days, <laughs> um, and, but I'm fortunate. I, I I have a very good supportive network of, of people that are close to me, who love me warts and all, um, and even now people who don't love me warts and all, but actually, you know, understand where understand. I'm coming from these days, Brilliant. which is a massive bonus. So so yeah, it's you know, it, addiction in and of itself is is selfish, but when you combine it with mental Ill health issues. Um, it becomes a lot more complex, totally. and and the reach, the 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 far-reaching effects of that are are immense. Yeah. Because not only not only people who are, are who are sufferers um, suffer, their families suffer, yep. their partners, Everybody their husbands, them. wives, yeah, their sure. children, their friends, their their employers. You know, I I, I speak to people, um, and and I'm not like yourself. I'm not a business. I wouldn't dream to 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 um, try and inspire somebody how to make their business a multi-million pound business because I don't have the skills to do that. But what I do what have the have skills got. to do is go into workplaces and say, actually, this person has, you know, and we can deal with it by and get the better, get the best out of their workforce totally. so that the workforce can then implement their strategies. Yeah, it's yeah. A, we, we're on the same page, but different but, sides but of different it. Different sides, yeah. Um, and, and, and for me, mental health per se is uh, is massively, massively underfunded. For a start, I agree. Yeah. Um, and it's definitely overlooked. Um, and you know, I, I I speak to people regularly, and, and and they'll they'll have had a massive row with their significant other on a particular day because they can't get out of bed. Um, and you're not lazy, people. What I would say to anybody that is suffering from any form of mental ill health, Ill health is, you're doing the best you can for now. Yeah. And and you know, cut yourself some slack, basically, because we're all human. Every single one of us has got faults. We are none of us perfect. We weren't born to be perfect. I think it was Picasso that said it. We weren't born to be perfect. We were born to be real. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and and you, people like you and I, we know what real is. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? And, and the um, and the reality for people who are struggling with mental Ill health issues, or learning difficulties, or or addiction, and sometimes combined, I have to say, which is really traumatic. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, then then they need to know that. A, somebody cares, uh, and B, it can be different. Yeah. It doesn't. We we don't have to walk this road alone. Don't, we don't. No, we don't. And 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 people people are around. And for people who aren't sufferers, I would I would say you know, if there is somebody close to you who is a sufferer of of, of any form of, of of addiction or mental Ill health, we've got OCD for instance, bipolar, both of which I am a certified member, uh, and both of which I now wear as a badge of honour because do you know what. I can cope with my good days and my bad days <laughs> because I now know how. You know, yeah. Uh, and if my OCD goes into overdrive in my house, the bonus is my house is clean. It's clean. My house is clean <laughs> You're gonna tidy and house. tidy. Yeah. Um, and and God help my husband if he messes the cushions up on the bed. Um, but you know, I, 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 it's who I am, yes. and and you know, I am quite hap I quite happily refer to myself as my district's resident lunatic, um, and that's tongue in cheek, and and that's not me trying to be twee. That's me trying to make other people understand that. Yeah. You, it's fine. It's fine. What's not fine is if the people Burning around yourself. you uh, cause you to implode, shrink, yeah. to shrink, and become a lesser version of yourself. Yeah, definitely. We all need to be the first, first-rate version of who we, of can, who we be, can be. Yeah. You know, and if that is a lollipop lady, a postman, a bin man, all of which are fabulous, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Or even if you want to be a stay-at-home mum or a dad, it it doesn't matter. As long as you are happy yeah. in doing what you're doing, it is so true. I mean, it's, I, you might have saw so, um, something I posted the other day was that most people think that success is the key to happiness. Absolutely. When happiness is the key to success, yeah. 
and I think that and I was with a client this morning and, and exactly the same kind of thing do you know like once I get there once I've got this level of income or once my turnover hits or profits hit this level I'll be really happy mm. or once I get that car I'll be really happy or that house yeah. and, and you're just wishing your life away you're wishing your life away I think that it's so important that people get this support and the stuff that you're talking about yeah. it's just so invaluable to people it is I mean you know it's it's um I I I have a program um, that that I deliver, which is which is which is born off off the title of a book, uh, which is uh, the, the program itself is called Fear Less, Live More. Yeah. Which, if every single person on this planet could, because I think even the Queen must be frightened of something. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're yeah. human. You know, and I, for anybody that says, oh no no no, I just say one thing, like much like you, think about it. She goes to the toilet. She's human. You know, and and it's. There will be something that worries her, or something yeah, that she totally. wishes she could do, because she she lives in a gilded cage, and there are certain things that she must love to want to do, and, and can't. can't. Yeah. You know, she's no different from the rest of us in that respect. Definitely. God bless her. But uh, yeah, fear less, live more, because it is it's it's not a rehearsal. No, it's, it's not. It's a one time offer. Yeah. No one overdrafts. One bite of the apple. No overdrafts. No refunds. And even even if you believe in reincarnation or an afterlife or anything like that, it's not going to be like this. No, it's going to be totally different. It's going to be a different experience. And you know. That's amazing. Amazing. I mean, there's so much value there. What you're sharing right now. Thank you. Um, so, how long have you actually been doing this now, helping other people? What, what's uh, the time on that? Well, at the time scale, I actually went live, so to speak, on on the first of January 2015. Fantastic. Um, prior to that, I'd, I'd become quite prolific on my own personal Facebook page as right. lots of people do these yeah. days and, and for anybody that knows me on Facebook they uh, or, or chooses to seek me out in my personal profile uh, you'll you'll very rapidly come to understand that I'm very prolific on things like human rights um, uh, civil rights partnerships for, for, for gay couples racism you know basically if it's an ism or an obia <laughs> I don't have it and right. I, I, because that I see no point that you know it's we're, we're all there is no right or wrong in my book there's just different just different yeah um, and when we when we accept that we don't need to tolerate anything because it just is it just is yeah um, but yeah so it, it, it's it, it's difficult but the people that, that came to know me through my Facebook my daughter being one of them bless her rang me up one day and she said if you don't stop it with Sue's so and so Latin <laughs> words of wisdom, I'm going to have to unfriend you because I'd had a, a particularly long rant about an issue and I just said, oh, deal with it. Yeah. Um, and then I, they, I went to a, a New Year's party shortly afterwards and a friend of mine said, when well, are you going to write this book? You gonna, you've been threatening for re years that you're going to write a book. And I said, you know what? I would, but I haven't got an idea where to start. And he said, go WordPress and start a blog, mm -hmm. which I did. That was a New Year's Day about, and you picked about up, lunchtime. And you picked up quite a big subscriber yeah. database. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, my uh, the, from I went home on, on the 1st of January, New Year's Day, 2015. And by the time I went to bed at 3 a.m. the following morning, I'd set up um, my my first blog. Brilliant. And it's associated Facebook page because it very quickly became apparent that you can't have one you without have one the other. <laughs> um, and, and rather than use Sue's words of wisdom which wouldn't have been accepted as a domain name because it was very latin <laughs> from my daughter I, I chose to use my uh, my, my nickname which is waggy well, yeah. uh, my, my school friends who we are still friends today uh, still call me that uh, and i'm very proud of that fact so wisdom by waggy became my blog Brilliant. on the first of january uh, first of january 2015 and from that standing point of me and a laptop and and nobody else um, my, my following across all social media now is close to 40,000 people. Brilliant. That's amazing. Which, which I'm pretty proud of. Yeah, you I'm, should I'm be. That's, proud that's of. absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, so, the, the, so that's where it started a year ago. I mean, prior to that, I had had, had, had an instance on one, one day after, after a particularly emotional post, uh, again, about mental health, yeah. and I was contacted within about 20 minutes from three different people who didn't know each other, and, and I, all of whom I knew personally, um, but I had no idea about their individual circumstances sure. and all three of them said to me please I'm paraphrasing here but essentially it was 
please don't stop doing what you're doing keep, keep because because of you I've done yeah. or I've said and what and I at mean, that what, point, what an inspiration that is to you, do you I, know? Yeah, absolutely and I, I quite I, I could quite confidently tell my daughter then to go forth and multiply <laughs> herself because I was just going to carry on doing it I'm doing this regardless um, yeah. and, and it's and it's built from there Brilliant. so um, yeah so a year and a half in almost yeah uh, yeah well year and it a is half. a year and a half exactly, it is, it is a year it? and a half yeah, yeah. Um, so, so I, I I went to a writers conference um, August last year um, and um, run by uh, Jerry Robert of Black Hard Books um, and I was fortunate to, to come away from there uh, with an idea and a germination and, and long story short uh, the book which Fearless, Fierce and Fabulous yep. which again sounds very um, uh, what's the word sensationalist but it's not meant to be uh, it's essentially ten steps standalone steps that will help people to um, enable them to have a positive self-image, increase the confidence, and, and, and give them a boost in the self-esteem. Fantastic. And each, each step will be a standalone chapter. It's not like a novel. It's certainly not a Harry Potter job. Um, but hopefully that will... Well, not hopefully. It is coming out this uh, year, yeah. but it'll be towards the end of the year. Excellent. Have we got uh, a date? Uh, no, because uh, all, all things being equal, life keeps throwing me curveballs, as you know. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, again... Everything that's that's thrown at me, I learn from in some way, um, and all I do know is it makes me more determined to actually, to push you know. So I've I've actually set some time aside in July yeah. to to actually leave town, literally leave literally, town, yeah. get out and, of the way, and unplug and just just put that to bed. So to I've speak. got an absolutely wonderful place I went to. It's not mine. It's a place I went mm. to in the Cotswolds. So if you want to uh-huh. go and switch off, yeah. I'll let you know about that because cool. it's amazing. But yeah, so 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 good things are happening. Absolutely. So so year and a half in, you know, you found your calling in life. Do you mm. know, this is your vaca- vacation, vacation, vocation. This is your vocation and a vacation. It's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's only work if it's a chore, isn't if it's it? A chore. And it's not a chore. So you're that's loving all what you do. Absolutely. So if you if you could go back to a twenty year old Sue. Oh wow. And, and share some of the wisdom that you've got and what you've achieved and the thing not not in terms of the mental side of stuff no, no. but in terms of how you're shaping this now as a business and, and a lifestyle for you mm-hmm. what advice would you give yourself to a 20 year old um, so that's only five years ago by the way <laughs> yeah of course I wish <laughs> um, what would I give to, advice would I give my 20 year old self um, drink coca cola which would probably kill you just as <laughs> easily but it's not addictive or is it I'm not Maybe sure it is, you never um, know. but yeah uh, of course there are other brands um, <laughs> uh, we're yeah, going to no, get an endorsement from Carlos absolutely fine, yeah. so no seriously um, it, it I can't stress enough in actual fact that fear uh, is is the underlying cause of um, most people's self esteem issues certainly um, and the lack of positive uh, self-image, for sure. How many people, you know, do we both know it? Have you seen the size of her ass when she walks down the street and stuff like that? And it's like, well, there might be a reason for that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Even if that reason is, she just likes to eat 12 burgers a day. Yeah, she just There's likes, a reason. She likes and, and if it's yeah. a health issue, it's a health issue. Mind yours, you know? So I, I, would, I would say to people, what we give out in this life is, is very definitely what we get back. If, if you are going to be um, judgmental uh, about somebody or something or a situation, before you do that, think and listen and yeah. put yourself in somebody else's situation and then treat that person how you would expect them to treat you. 100%, yeah. Because that way your life will change for the better instantly. Um, and But on a, on a wider scale, as a as a if somebody had said to me when I was 20 year old, you can be whoever and whatever you want to be, and there's only one person stopping you, that's you, yep. and then showed me how to overcome that, you know what, uh, my life would have been so different. So, different, yeah. um, so it's interesting you say, but how to overcome that, I mean, hmm. what what would you say is the, the secret sauce there? Um, the secret sauce of, of, of overcoming your own difficulties, hmm. you mean? Uh, you have to love yourself first and foremost yeah. if you don't love yourself which I didn't for a long time right. I very firmly fell into that trap of looking in the mirror I mean let's face it I'm not oil painting but I, <laughs> I, but I wasn't I wasn't half bad when I was younger um, but th- 
I very quickly in, in my formative years, I'm, I'm, and my formative years for me started when I was 16, okay. because my actual formative years are largely the reason why I, I got to where I was, but that's a whole mm. different ball that's, game. That's another video, is it? Absolutely. <laughs> um, but, but my formative years uh, began when I was about 16, uh, and I, I would look in the mirror some days and think, oh, I'm too short, I'm too fat, I'm ugly, or whatever, and I didn't have the wherewithal to to know that actually whatever I am, whatever you are is what you are. Is what you are and moreover, it's enough. Yeah. We we don't need I wish that I knew then what I know now, which is I don't have to please everybody. Everybody or even anybody. Yeah. Depending on the circumstances. Obviously if we've got responsibilities we have dependent relatives or young children, then we obviously have that responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but for me, the single biggest factor in my life was because I was hiding behind my wall of, of, of you know, I was the class clown. The people who knew me or thought they knew me, because I've always been the class clown, when they actually found out what would really be going on, you know, many of them, not all of them, because some of them I actually trusted enough to let sure. inside, no. uh, but many of them was like, really? What? You know, they had no idea. No idea. Because that's the way that I wanted them to see me, because I thought... If they saw the real me, they wouldn't love me. They wouldn't love you. Except yeah. when, when all along, had I known what I know now, is had I loved myself enough at that time, then they they would love me anyway. Yeah, and, sure. and and it's you know my nan used to say I think it was Doctor Zeus who originally said it. You know those that mind don't matter. Yeah. You know those that matter don't mind. Don't mind. Yeah. Um, and for me, as a young person. That would be the key. That would be the cornerstone, if you like. Of course, yeah, you know, yeah, it's brilliant. You know, literally going back to what I said earlier, the opinions of others, they're great when they're favourable. Favourable. Oh, you look nice, etc., etc. But, but for not. anybody that's negative towards you or anything like that, just let them get on with it and distance yourself. You know, life's too short to be sucked dry by people that have got a negative influence over absolutely. you. Absolutely. Which is not always easy if it's within your family circle. Which is often the case. Absolutely. Uh, but you can take steps to, to do that. But uh, for me, as a youngster, yeah, knowing that I was enough would have been a really big help. Yeah. Um, knowing how to love myself. Uh, I, I did a post on Facebook which went viral in actual fact when it went up about six or seven months ago, which was something along the lines of, Learning to love our, learning to love yourself is the most powerful experience you will ever you have. have. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. It, it, it is, and 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 under, and in addition to that, um, in, if we're talking about foundations of advice, love yourself for sure, but also learn to look after yourself because loving yourself and look after looking after yourself are intertwined. Yeah. You can't do one without, without the, other. the other. If you love yourself then you will take the right steps automatically. You'll eat healthily, you'll hydrate properly, you'll you'll surround yourself with the things that mean the most to you. Um, but it's it's just one of those situations whereby you you need to have that confidence to be able to do it. To do it, yeah, sure. Um, and it's not easy, you know, and, and people people often think that if they love themselves, or if they say to, I love myself, oh, fine. nobody walks around going, oh, do you know what, I love myself. <laughs> I love me. It's not that at all, it's not about that, because what people, what we need to help people to understand in, in areas like this is that, that loving ourselves is not selfish. It's not a selfish act. Yeah. It's necessary. Yeah. If we don't look after ourselves, then, and love ourselves in the right ways, then we can't possibly equip ourselves to do the same for the people that we also love. Yeah, yeah. Our significant others, our children, our grannies, our animals even, whatever. Everything whatever matters us. to us. I, I, the number of people I speak to, including myself, and I was really guilty of this for a long time, if I had a list of 10 million things to do in a day, and I got 999,000 of them done, the one thing that I didn't do was something for me. Yeah. Yeah. And without fail these days, in the last four years, I always, even if Put I have to, first. yeah, even yeah. if I have to stay up, fifteen minutes, half an hour later than everybody else at night, then I make sure I have some me time. Yeah. Read a book, listen to something, even Whatever. if it's just upbeat music, yeah. just do something that makes me feel good about me. For you, yeah. 
that's absolutely amazing. That's just been wonderful. Do you know? Thank you so much, Sue. Pleasure. Um, so, if you want to find out a little bit more about Sue, where can they head over to? Uh, SueKerr.com. Uh, and it's not K E R R because she was Deborah Kerr in <laughs> King and I. It's SueKerr, S U E C U R R dot com. Um, that that is my actual business website. Uh, you'll find a little bit about me on there. If you're if you're more into uh, reading about lessons learned in life on the back of mental ill health, uh, which is my personal blog, uh, that's at Wisdom by Waggy, which is W I S D O M for mother by obviously Waggy W A W G Y dot com. Dot com. Absolutely wonderful. So can I have a kiss? Of course you can. Mwah. It's been absolutely marvellous having you. Thank you. Um, and again, guys, definitely do check her out. Look at her site and keep let's keep a look out for this book. Absolutely. I'm, I'm excited to it see it. It will this be all well. over social media, no doubt. No doubt. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Pleasure.